but this procedure is performed for individuals who have low back pain generally that's worse with extension and rotation of their spine. They might have some tenderness in their low back on palpation, and the pain is generally worse with extension and rotation of their lower lumbar spine. They generally don't have a significant component of leg pain. That is, they don't have typical radicular pain, that is pain that moves all the way down the back of the leg to the foot. Lumbar medial branch blocks are primarily a test. It's not therapy, it's not meant to relieve pain for a long period of time. The goal is to try to determine if the facet joints, if these joints are the source of somebody's pain. And the medial branches are the tiny little nerves that come off of the dorsal ramus or the nerve root. And when we perform a medial branch block, we place a needle carefully under fluoroscopic guidance. We inject a small amount of contrast material. And then if that stays in place and is not in a blood vessel, we'll inject a small amount of local anesthetic or numbing medicine that numbs up the tiny little nerve or its primary function is to supply these facet joints. So each facet joint is supplied by two medial branches. So in order to get the bottom two joints that are most commonly affected, you have to do three medial branch blocks. And the whole goal is to see how much relief a patient obtains after performing the blocks. So we usually ask the patients to give us a percent relief. If the patient obtains significant relief on the order of 70 to 80 percent, then generally they're considered a candidate for radiofrequency denervation, which is the treatment part of the procedure. The diagnostic medial branch blocks are generally not a very painful procedure. The um, needle is very small, a light amount of intravenous conscious sedation can be provided for comfort during the procedure. The main point of this procedure is that it's a diagnostic test and we want to evaluate the patient in the recovery area after the procedure to attempt to determine the degree of relief and whether the patient is a candidate for radiofrequency neurotomy of the facet joints. The recovery time following the medial branch box is very brief. Generally there may be a little bit of soreness for the first day or so because a needle has been placed into a painful area. If the procedure is performed correctly under careful fluoroscopic guidance, um, a patient could expect minimal pain during the procedure and the risks are generally very low. Following the medial branch blocks, if they're positive, that is a patient has significant relief of their pain, their typical pain following the medial branch blocks for a finite period of time, then the patient is generally considered a candidate for the ultimate procedure, which is the radiofrequency thermal um, neurotomy, destruction of that same small medial branch for effective long-term relief.